Today we have on display our SC1, which is the only US designed, um, engineered and manufactured uh, piece of unmanned application equipment. And it has a payload of 20 gallons, can cover around 40 acres an hour running all day long. Uh, it's an all electric machine. It's all autonomously guided. Um, it uses microwave radar and GPS, compasses, barometers, accelerometers, gyroscopes to keep it on path. And it's, uh, it, it, all, it all flies itself. It comes back when the tank is empty, plug it in, fill the payload, send it out again. It's a robot that does the job for you. We've been uh, doing field trials for about five years in Florida, Idaho, Texas, and California. Um, we have hundreds of flight hours on these machines and they've proven themselves great tools for growers, retailers, and co-ops. So being in the field, we really validated our idea that the the payload is definitely a main limiting factor. I mean, a lot of the, the Chinese made equipment is really made to address small plots of three or two or three or four acres, but to replace machines, you need better machines. And that's what this is. We're not replacing someone with a backpack. We're really creating a machine for the first time that can spray the whole field. A really unique uh, component of drone spraying in general is that it really is a Swiss army knife across many crop types uh, across seasons. I mean, we've, We've sprayed trees, vines, orchards, you know, salad greens, corn, like you name it, we can do it, opposed to some other ground-based robots that are really crop specific. It's nice for a, a service provider to run a machine that can go apply any crop. We have great interest for fungicide, insecticide, herbicide, liquid fertilizer. Um, and next year we'll also be implementing a module in the back that's a replacement for the spray system, which is a, a granular spreader to do, we're really excited about cover cropping or, or any other granular material you wanna spread out. We are primarily selling the equipment to service providers. So growers will first see this as a service through a, a Wilbur Ellis store, for instance, may have this when they order aerial application, they'll get it via drone. And uh, over time, we'll open that up to growers directly as we build out our dealer and service networks across the states. Really, it's a new class of equipment. It's an all electric machine, so uh, we'll be offering training to get growers and, and service providers up to speed on this electric technology, which we think is going to explode across the field. We're, we're seeing electric tractors, we're seeing all sorts of electrification happening across ag, and uh, we'll be excited to start this right off the bat, electrified on man spraying. So the, the main problem we're solving for is, is ultimately acres per hour, which means if you have an incredibly large payload and you can go dispense that payload, say over 40 acres, and you come back, but the machine takes three hours to charge, your acres per hour is out the window. So the key here is you can go run a mission, spray anywhere from two to 20 acres in a run, and that may take you five minutes, and then it's two, two and a half minutes on the ground to refill the payload and supercharge the battery pack before you can fly again. So there's no battery swapping or anything like that. You fill the tank, plug it in, dumping hundreds of amps. That's our, our core technology is the battery pack to be able to get it back in the air. The machine's only useful when it's flying. We try to keep it on the ground as little time as possible. Our team is full of battery experts from Apple and, um, and all the electric vehicle companies and we build the batteries ourselves in Massachusetts. Overall, our mission is to help growers have control of something they didn't really have a lot of control of previously, which is aerial application, which is largely a service business with a lot of amazing businesses across the country. But the reality is it, there's a constraint on the supply. Growers have to pay one or two years in advance to get the service, can't always get it. The quality is, is you know, good here, bad here. And so we want to empower growers and service providers to really own aerial application and control it, get it exactly when and how they want it. The feedback uh, for the SC1 in the marketplace has been essentially what we've already know is people want to go even bigger. And we're, we'll be excited in the future to announce larger units, but for now, we're thrilled. We, we can't make them fast enough. We have about 500 pre-orders and we're, we're always looking for more. There are pre-orders now. You can sign up on the website for a, a fully refundable deposit and that gives you a spot in line. And orders placed now can expect delivery in early 2024. Yeah, we have about 500 on order. Uh, and we have, uh, we've gone through dozens of iterations, dozens of prototype, running hundreds of hours over hundreds of acres. And we're finally ready, ready to enter the marketplace.